there cootie crew and welcome back to my channel today's video is just all about how i put together these black and gold dangling claw tunnels i found some random supplies like a bag of claws and this gold chain at a local thrift store and i was like mm, i can do something with this i love asymmetrical style i love things that are a little bit gothic and creepy so i really loved how these turned out Okay, since I'm so stoked with how it turned out, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did it. And the chances of you having claws on hand are pretty slim, but maybe it'll inspire you to create your own jewelry. Or maybe you have claws on hand, I don't know. I wasn't expecting to find them. Maybe they're in a bunch of weird thrift stores and bags. Okay, here are the claws or talons or whatever that we're working with. First thing I do is take a really thin piece of like metal wire and create this little arched shape um that way when I turn this into more of a pendant that it, it has a sturdier base to it so I just take a piece that fits over the top of the claw like this then I take a really small really really small piece of this oven baked clay and just twist it in my fingers till it becomes a thin string and wrap that around and I also wrap it around the bottom of that metal piece and then just kind of flatten it down even it out and shape it a little bit then I took a second tiny little piece of clay rolled it out the same way and then used it to cover that little piece of metal this is kind of unnecessary I just wanted it to contain as much gold color as possible and since I was going to be painting the clay I thought this was a nice way to make that um, wire section gold instead of just a thin piece of silver so all I did there same thing drape it over top and then I spent some time shaping it a little bit around the piece of wire once I was done with the two this is what they look like and I chose the two claws that were about the same size just so it was a little more even in the jewelry I baked it according to instructions for about 10 minutes and then moved on to the painting I used a nice metallic gold paint that had that same yellowish tint to it as the chain and all I did was paint a few layers of that paint onto all of the sections that were made using that clay so I didn't paint any part of the claw or anything I just painted the part that was clay while that was drying I took the gold chain some of these like jewelry hoops that I had left over from a really old project and started working on the dangling part so I measured out how much of that gold chain I wanted to be the length that went through the tunnel and then just cut it using scissors because it was so thin I could very easily do that then I attached these hoops and for those all you have to do is pull them open and close it would be so much easier if I had tiny pliers but I didn't here's what that looked like and then once the paint was all set and dried and I had enough layers on it I then added the pendants to those same silver rings so again all I did open it up add the pendant close it back up again just using my fingers and there we go that is the mostly finished piece of jewelry I decided that I didn't want to have to worry about them slipping around on the inside so this was completely optional but I thought I'd try it I took velcro and cut out really small pieces of both sides of the velcro that way I could just kind of have something really small inside of that tunnel that kept them evened out although the claws were about the same size I just didn't trust it and I knew it would bother me if I had to keep adjusting it throughout the day so I took one half of that velcro and secured it to the bottom of the tunnel again see it's just a really really small piece so from far away you won't even be able to see it and then put an equally small piece on the actual chain so this way you can move the chain around when you need to put them in and out of the tunnel but once they're in your ears you can have them secured in place so that they can hang just how I wanted them to again totally optional it might not have been necessary but I figured I'd give it a try so this is how it worked out and they're done
to get it in and out, all I have to do is detach one of the claws with the jewelry hoop and then reattach it when I put it in. And otherwise I just put it in the tunnel like normal. It was incredibly simple to do and got me really inspired to try maybe some other jewelry crafts. One of the things I love about it is that it doesn't have to stay at the size that I'm currently at. So anytime I size up, as long as I have a black tunnel, it'll look basically the same. If you found it useful or entertaining, please, as always, give me a thumbs up. Check out the other videos that I have on my channel and maybe subscribe. Like I said, this inspired me to maybe think out of the box a little bit when it comes to making my own jewelry. And I hope that it also inspired you in some way to get creative today. So I will catch you next time.